I think it's not a question of knowing right away if your job is your dream job, but finding your passion in the job that you have. Uh, you can make it so that your job supports your passion and you don't have to choose. Huwag nyo lang kalimutan yung passion nyo. If you've already figured it out. Kasi may isang question pa yun. What yes. is your passion? Yes. Hello! Today's Paano Ba Ta Letter Center has a question about life. Kinahanap niya yung kanyang passion sa buhay. The best person na magbigay ng advice is a motivational speaker, a trainer, among many many different things. At passion, purpose, productivity. The one and only Francis Kong. Hi! Hi guys! The hardworking team behind Project Ripple. Let's take a walk? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Our letter sender, Miss Finding My Passion. Sabi niya, I'm always jealous of people who pursue their passion. I'm trying to find mine. Dati nag-photography ako, it died down. I started writing, nag-stop din ako. How do you actually find your passion? And how do you keep up? Paano ba to? But well, first of all, I will have to be a little bit philosophical. Mm -hmm. Question number one is, how do you define passion? You know, a lot of people will think, oh, passion, you must be something you love doing, you were happy doing. Actually, that's not it. Ah. You know, passion, when you take a look at the word origin for passion, it comes from the old Latin suffering. Suffering. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why you have Mel Gibson coming up with a movie, what? The Passion of Christ. Right? In other words, the essential philosophy of passion is something you are willing to sacrifice and work for knowing that the end result will bring you the results you want to get. Okay, and for that center of the question, you started with photography and then after you shift to the so right, my question now to you is why? Could it not be because you quit too soon? Could it not be because it was not really something that was meant for you? Could it not be because you just followed what friends are doing? Or maybe there's a misplaced understanding that because you love doing something, mm -hmm. that becomes your passion. Mm -hmm. But you may not be willing to go through the, the pain sacrifice. and sacrifice the challenges mm -hmm. of your People now, they'll say, you know, Francis, your passion is speaking, but you should have seen the number of hours of work I've done behind it. The years it took for you to hone your craft to bring you where you are today. I think a lot of people, like you said, are influenced by friends. Uy, baka passion ko din to kasi it's all over my social mm. media feed. For me, hindi masama to try a lot of different things. Correct. Photography, died down. Writing, died down. Eventually, you will find something tama ka that you are willing to work for. Try a lot of different things until eventually when you grow older, Correct. it will narrow itself down organically. Yes. Yeah. You will find what you are most passionate about. Correct. And there's an art and science behind it. Okay. You try so many things, that's the art behind it. And then when you find something that you really know it's for you, there's the fruit of your labor, it's producing good results. Put science into it by honing your skills and your competence. And that's when you will find out one day na ito na talaga. Yes. Ito na yung para sa akin. Yes. Thank you so much for your priceless words of wisdom. If you want more motivation from Sir Francis, you can easily check the hashtag Passion Purpose Productivity on Twitter. Little nuggets of wisdom and motivation. And thank you for that. Thank you. We hope that helped you and everyone else looking for your passion. That's it. Bye.